Hey, welcome into the round pen. This big, pretty gray horse. His name's Spider. And I put on the, the title here that he's a Morgan. I think he's actually half Morgan. And the other half is Lippa's Honor and American Saddlebred. Um, he, in his, to me, his head and neck certainly look like a Morgan. He kind of moves like a Morgan. He's 10 years old, and this is kind of a restart. He has been ridden some in years past, not a lot, but some. And the gentleman that owns him just wants to be able to just ride him around. Nothing fancy. Um, he just wants to get him where he can ride him around and, you know, just kind of take a nice, easy little walk with him. And I don't know what he knows. I don't know if he's ever been lunged before. I don't know anything yet. All I know is he was ridden some four or five years ago, but it's been a while. Uh, he said he's never trimmed his feet, and his feet actually don't look that bad. I don't know if you can pick them up. I don't know anything yet. Okay? So the first thing I want to find out is if he'll just kind of follow me around here and, and be respectful. Come on, buddy. And he came in yesterday, and he's, you know, he's a little bothered by the new, new surroundings, and they took him away from his pasture mates. So he's going to be... So he's gonna, you know, he's gonna be a little bothered for the few, for a couple of days. That's not bad at all, okay? That's pretty much what I'd like a horse to do when I'm leading him. Just kind of keep his nose about even with my shoulder. He's not being too pushy or anything. Good. That's a little better than I expected. Good. Okay. Let me see what he'll do. I'm gonna stop. Okay, so he stopped. He took an extra step that I didn't want him to. It wasn't too bad. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. Again, this is this. You're seeing what I what I've done. I haven't done anything. I just put a halter on him, brought him out here. So let's see how he just handles me rubbing him all over. Okay. See if he's got any spots all right that's good he doesn't seem bothered by that at all good boy this is a pretty big horse i mean he's not real tall he's maybe 15 hands tall but i would imagine he's around 1300 pounds he certainly hadn't missed any meals have you buddy okay good so that's not bothering him Let's see what he does when i go down his leg good how are you here Okay, passed that test pretty nicely. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna get my training stick here. Just in case he gives me any trouble and he acts like maybe he won't. Okay. Let's just see if I can get him to move his shoulder away from me and not step on me. Don't step on me, there. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is just him learning what I what I expect. I didn't ask him to move. And all this is pretty important first day stuff. He needs to wait on me to ask him to move and understand that I control speed and direction. Better, okay, good. And he's probably never seen a training stick before. So let me just rub him with it. I don't want him to be afraid of it. It's not a, it's not a weapon. Just an extension of my arm. Here, good boy. Good boy, okay. That bothered him just a little bit. Okay, wasn't bad. Okay, good. Good job, spider. Good job. Okay. All right, let me ask him to move to my right. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. It wasn't quite a 90 degree turn, but he moved his shoulder when I asked him to. Let me ask him to move his hip here. <laughs> you should see the look. He gave me, the look he just gave me was, what are you doing to me? <laughs> okay. All right, he's, he's, I've lost his attention. He's looking at something off in the distance there. You know, good. So he stepped away from me pretty nicely. I'm going to ask him to move this hip away from me. That bothered him a little bit. OK, 
Okay. He's licking and chewing. So this is stuff, I, you know, I don't know what he knows or what he's been taught. He's, perhaps no one's ever asked him to do that before. He'll figure it out. Is that it? There, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, all right. Okay. So that's gonna move this hip here. I'm looking at it. Tap the air. There. Good. Good. Okay. Let's see how he is about backing up. Ask him to back up. Come on, back up. So, the, the training principle that I'm using here is be as gentle as possible, but as firm as necessary. Okay. So if I can get him to back up just by the slightest little thing, which I can't, great. If it takes a little more, if it takes a little more, if it takes a little more, okay. All right, so think of it on a one to 10 scale. If I can get it with one, that's what I really want. If it takes three, I'll do three. If it takes six, I'll do six. But if it takes three, I won't do six. Okay, if he'll back up with a, th a level three pressure, I'm not gonna do any more than that. Come on. Right there, it took a little more. Good. One of my many sayings, horses move fast, but they think slow. So give him a minute to kind of process all of this. He's doing really quite well, actually. He's a pretty friendly guy. Okay, now let's try this. Again, I don't know what he knows or what's happened. Let's see how he handles it when I just start throwing this rope over his back. Okay, bothered him a little bit. Okay. All right. So all he's telling me is nobody's ever done that before and it's scary to him. So we'll just keep doing it. He'll figure it out here in a minute. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to let him drag me around too much if I can help it. Um, he'll figure it out here in a minute that it's not going to hurt him. This is the kind of stuff, why would you just strap a saddle on this horse and jump on him if he wasn't okay with these kinds of things? All right, doesn't hurt, just seems a little scary to him. There you go, bud, It'll be all right. Hopefully he doesn't drag me through the mud puddle. Okay. Good. And I lived in Saudi Arabia for three years and trained uh, Arabians and thoroughbreds, mostly Arabians when I was over there. And some of those Arabians would run around for hours <laughs> when you did this. <laughs> Uh, any, you know, any horse can figure it out. He's figuring it out. They all figured it out eventually. It's not going to hurt you. Good. Good. And my goal here, when you find something like this that, that's kind of scaring your horse, you want to do it till he starts looking bored. When he starts looking around like, okay, I'm bored. What's now? You know, what can I find to entertain me? Then you're probably done. Okay. See him drop his nose right there? Perfect. Okay, come with me buddy, all right. Now switch sides, different side, different horse. Left side spider is okay, let's see how right side spider handles it. Okay, oh, that's amazing. Okay, that kind of tells me this horse might be pretty smart. Okay, he is, see what he's doing? He is trying to push into me, I'm not gonna let him do that. Just about any horse will try to push you around their shoulders if you let them, especially if they're not afraid of you. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna go around his legs with it. 
okay. He, that shocked him a little bit. That's not bad. Good. Okay. Let's go around his hind legs here. Okay. So he's doing pretty well. He's kind of figuring all this out. Good job, old buddy. Good job, old buddy. Good. Good. Okay. Good. So I guess, you know, you call this desensitizing. Some people do. You want to desensitize your horse to everything around him that might be scary and you want to sensitize him to your cues. And desensitizing gets a bad name because people say, well, I don't want my horse all dull. I need him to respond to me. Right. I'm not going to desensitize him to my cues. I'm going to desensitize him to everything around him that might scare him. That was good. That didn't bother him. Okay. Very nice. Good. Okay. See how he handles this. Pretty good. Okay. Now, he has had a saddle on before, so this shouldn't be a problem. Let's see how he handles pressure around his belly. Okay. That doesn't seem to be concerning him at all. Good. Good boy, spider. Good boy. Okay, so that tells me I could put a, probably put a saddle on him. I'll probably do that tomorrow and shouldn't be an issue. Good, see he's ignoring me. There, there he is looking bored. Okay, so I can quit doing that. And he's licking his lips a little bit. That didn't bother him at all. All right, now, I told you the gentleman that owns him said he'd never trimmed his feet, but he said he could pick them up. So let's see how he handles this right here. See if I'll get him to give to that rope around that foot. Not bad. He certainly needs to clean. I need to clean him for sure. Okay. Yeah. And he's curious. He's not quite sure what I'm asking him to do. But he's trying real hard. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. So I had made some predictions to my intern, Maddie, there's behind the camera about this horse and they were almost all wrong, weren't they, Maddie? <laughs> Which I'm happy about. Okay. I'm happy. My predictions were based on how he, how he acted when we unloaded him off the trailer yesterday and led him into the barn. And, uh, you know, I think he was just nervous and upset about what was going on because he's doing really well. Okay. Now let's do it around his hind leg here. Same thing, right there. He's a little bit more bothered by that. He's kind of, and most horses, especially horses that haven't been handled a lot, they, their front feet get handled more than their hind feet. So they're usually a little more, a little more bothered by their hind feet being messed with. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. He's. He's resisting a little bit. He's not trying to kick the rope or do anything like that. Good boy. Okay, good boy. All right, let me see if I can lead him by this hind foot. Pull it. Good. 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 Good boy. All right. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Okay. Same thing with these other two on this side. Okay. And folks, I know some of this is a little bit tedious. You know, you're watching this at 11 o'clock at night on YouTube and you're like, you know, um, don't skip this stuff. Okay, don't skip this stuff because this is the kind of stuff that'll 
it'll cause you problems later if, if your horse isn't okay with these things. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. All right. Good. A little better on that foot than it was on the other one. Good. Okay. He's a little bit on this right side. He tends to kind of push into me. And it's probably because he's just not comfortable with me being over here. Because again, horses are normally handled from the left by most of us. And so they're just not as comfortable with us on the right side. But it's not, it's not anything serious. There we go. Okay, he's kind of passing that test. All right. Good boy. Good boy. So if you can do this, and he'll give to that without fighting, should be able to pick that horse's feet up and clean his seat. You know, usually that is an indication you can do that. Okay. Now, let's try this. Let's see if I can get him bend around here and I want him to break at this joint right here in front of his shoulder he doesn't know what I wanted to do so it might take him a minute to figure it out there he's figuring it out good boy hey there you go buddy. good he's gonna lick and chew a minute I never interrupt a horse when they're licking and chewing. Always wait till they're done. Okay, let's ask him again. It's not bad. Ultimately, I'd like him to come all the way around, touch his belly with his nose. But he doesn't have to do that today. He's kind of figuring out what I'm asking him. Good boy. I think this horse is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I really do. We're going, to have a, we're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we, buddy? And that's what most horses do when you first start doing this. Typically, they... They kind of walk around because they don't understand what you're asking them to do. He'll figure it out here in a minute. Just walk with them and they'll figure it out. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Excellent. You are passing all the tests today, Spider. Well, this horse is, you should be able to see, he is really strong in his neck and his shoulders. This is a very strong horse. And if you know anything about Morgans, that's what they are. They're very strong, very stout, um, pretty versatile horses in many ways. If you're a, if you grew up being a horse lover kid like I was, you probably read a book called Justin Morgan Had a Horse, about the original, the, or, the orig, origination of the Morgan breed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I told you, he'll figure it out here in a minute. Never had this done before, I don't think, and he just doesn't know what I want. Just want you to bend your head around, buddy. There. Almost had it. <laughs> Thank you.
There, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Good job. Okay. All right. So last thing I'm going to do with him, I don't know how well he'll handle this. Based on what I just did, I'm gonna put this rope behind his tail here. See if I can get him to come around here. Figure out that puzzle. Beautiful job. Beautiful job, spider. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. All right, let's do it this side. Some horses really have a problem with this. I've had a couple of Mustangs. It took months to get them to be okay with that right there. And he's doing fine. A little stiffer on that side, so let's do that side again. There, he figured it out. Yeah, so he's a little stiff with his neck there, kind of resistant, but it, it's nothing. Nothing serious, licking and chewing. All right. So, you know, he's passed the test pretty well. So tomorrow, likely, I'll uh, saddle him, start doing some round pinning stuff, working on speed and direction, stop and go, things like that. Stay with us for this Morgan horse named Spider.